USD football fans haven't seen a win over rival South Dakota State since 2000. And what they've seen in Brookings since joining SDSU in the Missouri Valley in 2012 hasn't been pretty. Though the Dakota Dome games have been competitive, the Jacks crunched the Coyotes at Coughlin Alumni Stadium 31-8 in 27-14 in their last two meetings. This the first ever game between them at the new Dana J. Dykehouse Stadium in the first quarter. USD on the road, got nothing to lose. They're gonna go for it on fourth and goal, fourth and one, and Chris Strebler is stuffed. SDSU would take over, march right down the field and put in the end zone, Kyle Paris on the plunge. It's seven nothing Jacks. Later in the first, it looked like SDSU was gonna run away with this thing when Taryn Christian decides to run away from the USD defenders but Jacob Warner puts hat on ball. The fumble is forced, it's out of the end zone. It's USD ball, seven nothing after one. Late in the half, Chris Strebler to Brandt Van Ruckel. Did he make the catch? Well, if he had our angle, he would have seen that. Yeah, he had it easily after a little confab between the officials. It is indeed a touchdown and we're tied at seven. Third quarter, State's rushing attack really gets going. Isaac Wallace breaking free down the sideline, right into your living room for a 47 yard score, it's 14-7. Jack Rabbits, but Stig's team had to contend with a tough Coyote squad. Strebler to Dakari Allen for nine yards. We're all knotted up at 14. It's State's turn again. Christian, this time he ain't gonna fumble. He's gonna run it in for the first of two touchdowns on the day as SDSU takes a seven point lead. Move ahead to the fourth quarter. Jack's clean to that advantage. Coyotes driving. Strebler picked off by Dallas Brown. And for the second straight year, South Dakota State beats their rival 28-21. They beat him by seven. Anytime we play in the Missouri Valley, uh, you want to survive, and we found a way to survive. Uh, I was really proud of our team for not uh, uh, getting down after the first half and not getting points, and really, it, maybe it motivated us. You know, going in, we knew we were going to have to take advantage of any opportunity that we had to put points on the board, and, and uh, we had a couple of opportunities that we didn't.